Hi guys, so it's uh, Bob Greenier here from the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project and I just wanted to take you through uh, a kind of idea for a React core. So to start off, there's a funky logo for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that. Uh, so there's our dog bone and uh, if we just zoom through here, um, uh, we should see the dog bone disappear. And this is our React core, uh, which is our high tech ceramic, fully vitrified, dense, suitable for plasma and vacuum. And uh, we're going to zoom in so you can see it's got a <clears throat> curved end there. And that means it's, it's automatically sealed at one end. And down this end, this might be where we throw a bit of zirconia fine wool to act as a getter with a piece of alumina felt at this end. This is what the cool zone at one end of the reactor. And then if we come back out again and we zoom into uh, this end, uh, this is the thermo well. And so in there you would insert your thermo well, your thermocouple, and uh, measure the temperature in the other cool zone which is well within the capability of a K-type thermocouple. And then you would use a kind of proxy, uh, having parameterized the rest of the reactor to um, know that this temperature at this, at a certain level represents a temperature that's at a different level in the reactor over here. Uh, so just take it a little bit further. So we're gonna pop this thermal well out. And like, uh, these are, it's another standard kind of uh, high-tech ceramic component, probably made the similar material to this. Uh, the trick is, is bonding this to uh, the flange end of the uh, thermocouple here, the thermo well rather for the thermocouple. So you spin this round, you'll see this could be some uh, high alumina content uh, refractory cement or bonding agent that you put down here, or it could be manufactured with um, some sort of molybdenum based um, brazing agent on this part and then you, you seal it once you put the uh, reactants into the reactor core. So that drops down there, you pop that in there, either you wait two or three hours for it to set or you heat it up a little bit and set it in a shorter period of time or you use a brazed version. Um, uh, an expert company would be able to tell you the correct uh, thing to use uh, and yeah so the, it pops in there uh, and you get to see the dog bone yeah